the e-commerce sector is flourishing in India and with a slew of new startups, employers are facing the challenge of finding prospective new hires. Competition is heating up in India's e-commerce sector, but not only for customers. Companies looking to exploit the massive increase in internet users need staff and are willing to pay top dollar. And as competition for employees heats up, prospective new hires are flipping to better offers. And that's a problem. There's a huge impact on the industry because your whole work gets back by two, three months. You put an offer. Getting one person on board is an is a effort of two, three months. You know, after two months, if the person declines the offer, you are back by two months. This is a huge implication, primarily in the senior position. It has impact to the extent that it also impacts a business plan. The problem is made worse because competition for the best performer is particularly intense. That means high flyers can be juggling multiple offers. There's a massive difference in demand and supply. Uh, so there are, very, there are a lot of people who are kind of looking for a job. But the quality of talent, the real, really good, high quality talent is really rare. And I think one guy, that's why he gets multiple offers. It's completely because of lack of great talent. But while this is the problem for e-commerce companies, yeah. it leaves the best employees in a potentially strong position. With all due respect, I think there's nothing unethical about it as long as people understand what they're signing up for and, and they're very clear about their roles. The reason they kind of make the switch is because um, there are enough companies today that are cropping up across the country. But experts believe this may be a short-term problem as an initial explosion of recruitment activity will settle down. The companies are going to take more time to hire candidates. It sort of shortens down the hiring uh, you know, cycle. You're likely to be hired for non-monetary reasons. And uh, very clearly, the hiring companies, the staffing companies and candidates will have to be very, very real in terms of why a certain candidate is being facilitated for hiring. A far more caution will be exercised while hiring is, is what I can conclude. In the meantime, the fight for employees is set to continue as India's e-commerce industry is likely to experience a compounded annual growth rate of 35%. Businesses can't afford not to. Nidhi Rai, South Asia Newsline, Mumbai.